Does aloe vera help acne? Is it a myth? Is it effective? Coming next. In this video, we'll cover the science behind aloe vera. Whether it can help treat acne. Four different ways to use it. Potential side effects. As well as 10 little known aloe vera facts. So let's get in. Aloe vera is a succulent plant native to Africa. Inside of its plump leaves is a pulpy middle filled with copious amounts of mucilaginous gel. The clear gel inside of aloe vera leaves is used topically to soothe skin that has been burned or irritated, and some people use it to treat acne. There is also a school of thought that believes taking aloe vera orally can be beneficial for hydrating and healing your skin from within, but there is far less evidence to substantiate that idea. There's a good reason that aloe vera is used for so many skin problems, it has anti-inflammatory properties. That means that aloe vera can help reduce swelling. Putting aloe vera on a red, swollen pimple can help reduce tenderness and pain. Aloe also has wound healing effects, so it may help heal open acne blemishes. At some point, you may have put aloe gel on a sunburn. Just as aloe soothes the sting of sunburn, it can also soothe a host of other skin irritations, including acne. If acne treatments are leaving your skin dry and irritated, using aloe vera gel or a moisturizer containing aloe can be helpful. If this makes your skin more comfortable, you might be able to continue using your acne medications without experiencing the drying side effects. The benefits of aloe vera may go beyond just soothing irritated skin. Some research has shown that aloe vera may boost the effectiveness of acne medications. One study, published in the April 2014 issue of the Journal of Dermatological Treatment, compared two groups, one using topical tretinoin and aloe vera gel, the other using tretinoin and a placebo. The group treated with tretinoin and aloe vera had less redness and fewer pimples than those treated with tretinoin alone. Because acne is, in part, caused by bacteria called Propionibacteria acnes, it's speculated that aloe may play a part in reducing these bacteria. How to use aloe vera After hearing the benefits, you may decide to add aloe vera to your acne treatment routine. In general, aloe vera is a very safe remedy. Here are your options. This is the purist's remedy. It consists of aloe gel and nothing else. Because aloe is a known antioxidant, as well as an anti-inflammatory agent and antibacterial substance, you can use it full strength on your skin as a strong acne fighter. The best part about using pure aloe gel for spot treatments or on your entire face is that you can leave it on all night. Just be sure to rinse it off in the morning. Aloe vera, cinnamon, and honey have all earned their reputation as acne fighters. For a mask that smells great and works like a charm at fighting acne bacteria, combine 4 tablespoons of your favorite organic honey with 2 tablespoons of aloe gel. Toss in about 1 half tablespoon of organic ground cinnamon and mix well. Apply to your acne problem areas or to the entire face and leave on for about 7 to 12 minutes. Rinse thoroughly and pat dry. Apple cider vinegar contains malic acid, which works to exfoliate dead skin cells away, help return the correct pH level, and kill any bacteria present on the skin. 
Mix a tablespoon of aloe gel with a 1 half teaspoon, each, of purified water and apple cider vinegar. Apply the resulting mixture to your face with a swab or cotton ball. Give it about 20 minutes to dry and wash clean. You might want to skip this treatment if your skin is very sensitive. This one really packs a punch in the fight against acne. Combine about one third cup of coconut oil, cane sugar, and aloe gel together and mix them well. You can store the scrub in your refrigerator and use it daily. Apply the scrub to your face and rinse completely after a minute or so. Coconut oil is also an antibacterial so you're getting a double dose of healing. The sugar works as an exfoliant to remove dead skin cells and open the pores. Aloe Vera Risks and Side Effects There's also some evidence that ingesting high levels of aloe vera could hurt your body and put you more at risk for certain types of cancer. Although rare, some people may develop an allergic reaction to aloe vera. Signs of an allergy may include redness, a rash, or swelling. If symptoms occur, stop using aloe vera. Aloe vera might also have interactions with other drugs. Make your provider aware that you're taking aloe vera for acne. Before you use aloe vera, do a patch test on your wrist, behind your ear, or on your upper arm to test your skin. If redness develops then don't use on acne. In conclusion, there are plenty of ways to try aloe vera as an at-home treatment for your acne. If your acne is mild or moderate, the research is on your side. Your best option for clear skin however is to use a proven acne medication. You'll get better and more consistent results with these treatments than aloe vera alone. <music> 10 Little Known Aloe Vera Facts The aloe gel is 96% water, which enables the plant to survive in arid regions. The aloe leaf contains latex that is effective as a laxative. However, ingestion of large doses of latex in aloe can be toxic. Egypt's Queen Cleopatra was said to apply aloe vera gel to her skin as part of her beauty ritual. Aloe seems to be able to speed wound healing by improving blood circulation through the area. Aloe vera contains cooling properties similar to menthol. This is perhaps the plant's best known quality. Aloe gel appears to have properties that are harmful to certain types of bacteria, furthering the argument for it as a wound healing agent. Aloe vera plants are hardy and long-lived. Wild species have been known to survive for 100 years. Aloe vera gel can be a great source of hydration when used in hair. There have been 700 plus studies on the benefits of aloe. Aloe is considered an adaptogen, or substance that stimulates or strengthens the body. Thank you for watching this video. Please click like, share, and subscribe for more awesome content.